Welcome back to today's video. My name is Makai Randall. Nice to meet you and I've already seen you. Thank you so much for coming back. Now, I haven't done a mukbang in literally almost a year now and that is insane to say, but I just never really had interest in coming back to the community. And so today, I just really wanted to sit down and talk to you. I wanna update you guys about my life and then on top of that, I also asked on my Instagram account for you guys to send me unpopular opinions because it throws it real back. If you were an OG, well not really OG, but if you were a fan of me when I was 14, this is all I did was unpopular opinion mukbangs. So today with me, I have a Chipotle burrito bowl. It's a barbacoa bowl with white rice, fajitas, pinto beans, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce, bitch. Mwah. And then, potato chips, duh. Hello. Is it hello? Okay, I tried to do this for the fucking thumbnail, now it's stuck in there, oh my god. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the thumbnail, right? And I look cute, bitch. Wow, look how I win. It's a big ass piece of meat. I've been like, you guys want some? That's fucking rude, right? Because I'll watch mukbangers all the fucking time. Be like, have the first bite. Fuck you. But yes, I will have one. I'm actually gonna add some of this tomato sauce. This shit, because it's dry as fuck. Barely sour cream. Y'all stingy as hell, Chipotle. Damn it. Spare coochie. Spare coochie, man. Yeah, the last real mukbang I really did was the 15 pound lobster mukbang, which if you haven't watched yet, please do, because I haven't made a dime yet. Am I embarrassed? Hell yeah. Am I ashamed? Hell yeah. But in all honesty, I've been very good um, recently. I've been just thriving, killing it on YouTube, duh. I've just been really happy. You know I mean? I've protected my mental health. I'm kind of popping, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, no, I'm, in all seriousness though, so, I've been seeing like a lot of hate comments or whatever. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> I try not to read the comments to protect my mental health because I know if I read those comments, I'll either be going off on somebody or I'll hurt my own feelings. So I learned how to not read comments anymore and if I see a rude comment, just instantly ignore it. I said this before, I have no problem with people leaving a hate comment. I care fucking less, but I have a problem when it's either questioning my character or it's literally something I actually have to touch on that I did not understand or was uneducated about. Now, oh my God, I'm 100% down to learn and accept the hate. But what's unnecessary hate is like your voice is annoying or your videos are boring, nobody's gonna watch you. I just learned to kind of move past those comments because when it's one of those comments, you get like five nice comments. So it doesn't really matter. Well, that's weird. When I tweeted this, and I was like, why do people follow me and not like me? I have no problem with somebody unfollowing me. If you do not like me, if you unsubscribe, if you don't like what I post on Instagram, unfollow. Because it is so stupid <laughs> how people literally read me the filth. For no reason. There'll be like this one top comment, I just hate. And then it'll be like 20 likes and it'll be like people I know liking the shit. And ha half the people, if not all people are following me or has that follow back on their profile. Like I don't follow them and I'm like, well, if you don't like me, just unfollow me. I have no problem. Moving on from that, I saw this one comment. <laughs> well, actually, so it's not moving along from it. I saw this one comment when somebody said I edited it like Larry or I was trying to be like the next Larry. Bitch, first and foremost. I knew Larry before Larry was Larry, bitch. And there is evidence of that, Momma. No, I knew Larry before Larry was Larry, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Here's how I see it I'm a stealer. Whatever I got, I stole it. Whatever I'ma get, I'ma steal it. Whatever I want, I stole it. Whatever I'ma get, I'ma steal it. Steal it, stole it, steal it. I don't go fuck. I know I steal. What the fuck? Who does it? I steal Antonio Garza's, Larry, James Charles, Shane Dawson, all together, editing style. <laughs> And there's no doubt about it. I take all their elements and put it into my fucking videos. I know I'm copying them, but I'm not trying to be Larry. So now I'm gonna get into y'all unpopular opinions so I can, you know, have some things to talk about. I don't wanna come in my mouth. You guys probably like to see that shit. That was fucking gross. Okay, that was fucking gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> On Instagram, I asked you guys to send me some unpopular opinions because I haven't done a popular opinion video in forever, Rich. I love these videos because they honestly open my mind up sometimes. I'm like, hmm, that is kind of true. This person said, Beyonce is overrated. Fuck you. Next. Let's be clear. Do I think Beyonce is overrated? Uh-uh. No. Don't test me. <laughs> this person said, teen pregnancy shouldn't be normalized. I am a man, so I should not never be speaking on teen pregnancy because... 
two balls. This is you should be responsible. If you're not responsible or you're not capable of taking care of a child, then you shouldn't have one period anyway. But do I think teen pregnancy should be normalized? Definitely not, but I'm not opposed to teens being pregnant. This person said the F word shouldn't be used by everyone in the LGBTQ community, just gay men. I don't I don't I don't agree with that. I don't know. That's like saying light skins. It was like a whole argument where people were like, light skins can't use the N word. I feel like if you're at least my black opinion, my 100% black opinion, right? My 100% black opinion, right? I believe that if you have at least one black parent, then you should be able to say the N word. But we weren't talking about the N word. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I think anybody who is openly gay can use it. Period. This person said Chick Play is better than Popeyes. Now, I can say Popeyes is better morals, but Chick Play, let's be real, y'all. This might be brought back up. Anyways, I haven't, okay, first and foremost, I haven't ate from Chick-fil-A in maybe mm, three, four months now. I don't eat Chick-fil-A anymore. Don't get fucked up though. I love a good Oreo milkshake and I love a good Polynesian sauce. Better than Popeyes? Mm, it depends on what you're going for because Chick-fil-A is sweet as fuck. Popeyes is like savory, soul food, salty. Chick-fil-A is sweet in my opinion. Like I think Chick-fil-A thrives so much because it's like sugar in the chicken. Look, right? Like, did I crack the code? Because they're sweet as fuck. Not for sure what's going on. Wait. This person said watermelon is disgusting as fuck and it's unnecessarily messy. I agree. Well, I don't think it's messy per se, but I hate watermelon. I think it's fucking gross. Has no flavor. The seeds are annoying. It's not good in general. Ew. This person said political views should determine friendships because why are you disagreeing on human rights? Disagree. Me personally, am, I really choose my friends more than they choose me. Well, none of, all my friends agree with my political views, so I can't really speak on this per se. Next person said, cancel culture isn't really that toxic because you find out who's safe to support. Period. I agree. Cancel, okay, first, oh my God. I've been talking to myself about this so many times. I'm gonna give you the secret tip, the secret rest, the, there's that little added parsley bitch to the top of this motherfucking secret that influencers will not tell you. If you want to successfully cancel somebody, you have to fuck with the analytics. When you're like a mass unfollowing, I think that kind of helps per se. Don't add extra comments to the Instagram feed because Instagram doesn't read comments and say, oh my God, we're not gonna promote them anymore. That's the algorithm, 100%. It's just seeing another comment. It's gonna keep pushing their shift to get like 50,000 comments on a post with like 200,000 likes. If you want to fuck with somebody, you have to unfollow them and then send them like bad tweets. Unsubscribe from them from YouTube. Analytics are so important important to an influencer conduct everybody who they're affiliated with you see how quick morphe took away that motherfucking deal with jeffree star no tea no shade you see how quick they took his products off their motherfucking website people were requesting them to take it off or they would stop shopping with them all right guys that was me eating chipotle and reading you guys unpopular opinions and updating you guys about my life yeah there's nothing else going on in my life that i can really share with you guys to be honest there's nothing interesting sorry boop if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more mukbangs by me let me know but make sure you leave a like and subscribe because i upload videos every single Wednesday Saturday. After you subscribe make sure you click the bell to be notified anytime that i upload a brand new video if you like to follow me outside of youtube you can find me on all my social medias on instagram tiktok snapchat and twitter they're all at mckay all right you guys i'm gonna go see you bye